Hi there, Leos. This is Kim here to do your reading for you. This is going to be another next 48 because I just can't decide on what other kind of reading I'm going to do this month. Not yet. If you have any comments, let me know. Any suggestions? So thanks, Leo. Thanks for um, liking, subscribing. I uh, appreciate all the support, and I do send the love right back out to you all. Um, my biggest supporter is the Leos. So, Leos. Get started. Let's call in your angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher powers to get messages for Leo always ascending, always ascending, ever expanding. This is, by the way, the um, Moon Oracle deck, and we're gonna do we're gonna do past, present, and future with it, and then we're gonna do past, present, and future with the psychic tarot, um, and then from there we'll just decide. So it's not traditional tarot, but um, it's close enough. What? Causing a problem here. Oh, it's because they're stuck. All right, so for our Leos, what do we have for them? Present, past, future. Did I say present, past, future? <laughs> I don't know where I am. Um, past, present, and future. Okie dokie. So let me get, let me bring their book out here. So many containers down here. Okay, so Moon Oracle, just to make sure that I get, you know, there's a lot of information about where the moon's located between what sign and things like that. So, all right, I thought she was upside down. Oh, that's a nice one though. This is the 25th mansion is what it's talking about. It's the degrees in which this is, which, you know, the, the position of the moon at this time. <laughs> Let me look up 25th. And so it says rebel. We can get an idea from that, that um, this is about doing something in a non-traditional way. Not allowing, yeah, not doing things the way that you're expected to do them. Um, because maybe you have a better idea. Maybe you have a better idea. Not doing things traditional. <clears throat> And I believe, you know, also displaying to others that see you that it's okay to do your own thing. So, Mansion 25, Rebel. I thought that was Aquarius. So, those are the degrees right here that the moon is at. So, it's in Aquarius. It's 8.34 degrees. And then between Aquarius and Aquarius, 21.26 degrees. So, that's how they got that. All right. So... Traditionally, if the moon was traveling through this mansion, you were thought to be courageous, stubborn, and capable to triumph over enemies. <laughs> That's Leo. That's Leo. But you are also considered to be prone to rough, eccentric, or unusual behavior, which was thought to make you unlucky in business. Who says that? <laughs> the card meaning Uranus and Mercury Conjoined in Aquarius produce an aspect that cares very little for rules and tradition. This card reveals that traditional ideas and old-fashioned views have outlived their usefulness, and they must be revised. So, if this card is drawn, there is a time for exceptionally bright thinking that will produce sparks of genius. That's right. It indicates a powerful devotion to a cause you are certain that your position is correct. No matter how out on a limb that you must see to others, you must be prepared to act totally out of character to achieve your intended aims. Out of condition character, right? Arguing for a cause here or eccentric behavior ruled by Uranus and Mercury. So... So that is definitely about stepping outside the norm. I feel like it really has a lot to do with a public cause. Um, 
something that you believe in, something that if, if you get to this success you want, that you would um, advocate for or try to make their lives better, whatever this cause is about. So whatever this is about. Maybe you're doing something like having a commitment that's completely out of tradition too. I mean, that can be it too. You know, where roles are kind of changed than what everybody thinks they're supposed to be. But once again, no matter how traditional, no matter how conditioned, it still is an expectation nonetheless, right? For the stone. Okay, that's nice. So that is um, all about your um, foundations and what you're building. This is about what you're building. This is coming into power and what you're building right now. Interesting, because they've got, it looks like runes, and that's what I'm waiting for in the, I've been waiting for it for a while now, it's like six days. The rune um, cards, not the actual runes, because I need to learn those first. So, Sleeper is 28th Mansion, the 28th Mansion, Sleeper. And that's the future. So, I'm a little confused about that one. Let's go, let's get on um, 28. This might be something different, mean something different than what I would think. So, that's usually what it is, too. Okay. This says, when the moon was in this mansion, it was named the Sphere by the Kabbalists and it was thought to have a dual influence. Hmm. So, <laughs> basically, they're saying, and I hate to even say this because I'm putting a, a, an expectation or a belief in your head, but don't accept it if it doesn't resonate. It's saying that in the future, you'll either have a really calm inner self but not success in the material world or and don't shoot me because I don't I don't necessarily agree with that but um, and then your inner side your so your inner world may be turbulent you may be having lots of challenges on the emotional front but you're doing really good in material so it's like either or here but that's just what they say so let's go further let's see what else they say all right this is based on the myth about Persephone, Persephone or Persephone, myth abducted by Hades. She was forced to remain in the underworld for part of every year. And this card is the intense emotional power that is currently dormant or yeah, you're holding back. It's about holding back your power. If you draw this card, you cannot deal with, oh, this is interesting. If you draw this card, then something, there's something that you cannot actually handle or deal with until your full rest and healing is done. That makes more sense for that card. So it's like in action because much rest is needed, much energy is needed. I think if you release it at the wrong time, maybe not so great things can happen. Actually, let's put these over here and let's do the psychic tarot here. We'll do put it right under there. I keep wanting to flip her right side up, but the rebel. The rebel, and maybe that's the past energy. Maybe it was just maybe you're just now understanding why you did rebel against things. Maybe you're understanding now why things had to be kind of difficult because of the sense that you are where you are today because of everything that's happened in your past. Not because of everything, but you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't get to the point you are if you hadn't taken the path you took, which if you're here, I would think that's probably a good thing because you're finding out information about your soul path. Not little things to digest, Leo. All right, so the rebel, the stone, and the sleeper. Or Leo's getting the psychic tarot for one card for each of these. The past energy or past influence. Seven of wands. 
Yeah, well, you had to speak your truth and stand out, right? You had to defend what you believed was your cause. This can also be, remember, advocating or standing up for a particular group of people because an old way is outdated. And this might be past energy that you thought, boy, this needs to change, like a lot needs to change. And you stood your ground and you spoke your truth. So yeah, I, this is a little stressful, but it's doable. Okay, in the present, Eight of Pentacles. No, Eight of, sorry, that's red. It's um, Eight of Wands, which is really, I like that even more. Um, the Eight of Wands is good news come into you. Could be about anything, but it is positive, positive movement forward is what it's indicating. Positive movement forward, and it's regarding your building of the foundation. So this is all good news. Then we have Base Chakra. Okay. You're healing. You're healing the very thing that you use to ground yourself. Energy from the base or root chakra. Maybe that is what's laying dormant, like all that energy. Because this is the main one that can bring some really great things into your life if it's open. So if we're healing it, then yeah, we wouldn't be using it that much. And this is definitely about like material earthy things too. It is um, waking up to your power. You would be waking up to your power. And I think this has to do with your pentacles too, by the way, because um, base chakra, it just, I, I get that feel from it. Let's see. So that's that. Let's get some, um, let's get some other. Cards. Let's get some tiny tarot to see if there's any more information that they want to give us about these three. Past, present, future. Any more information for our Leos, please, tarot. The rebel, which goes perfectly with seven of wands, doesn't it? And then four, four, four. I like that. Okay, any more information? Yes saying a lot more information. Thank you very much. Whoa. <laughs> um, okay, so the ones on the floor, I'm not going to pick up and add to this because there's just a lot on the floor. So let me get these up first. Okay. That one fell on my lap, the, that Ten of Pentacles. So that was kind of, that was a good sign to me. So Oh, goodness. Okay, so past energy was figuring out that whatever you were doing, the tried and true method, whatever you're trying to do, it was kind of like a mask. It was not real. It was it was not meeting goals, and it was because it was being run by old-fashioned, outdated beliefs. That is the past energy that I see. And I feel that that's what, you, what motivated you here. I have the Four of Cups, positive movement forward. And, hey, we have the Six of Swords, but it's in the reverse. Look, you get the news, but Spirit can't make you do anything. You have free will. So go inside a little bit more. Please don't miss these opportunities. There may be may more opportunities if you decide to move on. I mean, they're just really my, that's, that's kind of the message that I'm feeling here. If you decide to move, to sell on out into your future, you are going to get your Ten of Pentacles. Now, you might get your Ten of Pentacles anyway, because that might be what you're trying to build on right now. I don't think it's grown um, as far as like what you're wanting. I don't think you've reached that point so far. Constant goals, constant resetting of goals, and constant updating of what needs to be changed. So the four is, um, you know, representing your foundation and building your power. And we have the Knight of Swords. So something's got to give, something's got to change for this. And the Seven of Wands. You need to be very assertive when you see this. You need to stand in your power and believe in your power. If there's any belief that needs to be uh, fixed, it would be the belief in your own power, right? Not fixed, but if you needed to add a belief, it would be that you're limitless. 
you can do anything. This is that advocating again. So maybe you're building up something um, that's gonna, in return, start helping a lot of other people too. I don't know, some of you, it's really like an advocating position. You may be having to stand up to somebody in a relationship or a career that, you know, you're defending yourself here. So the Knight of Swords, also can mean um, if you need to do a breakup or make a breakup, you might want to during this time. And as opposite as this sounds, it also for single people can represent a person coming in very quick, very intent on you, um, but they might leave as quick as they came. So it would be It'd be you to step on this opportunity while you can. The Ten of Pentacles here with the four and the eight, I feel like they're just connected because it, it's what your angels and your life path is leading you to is your, um, in your higher self. It's your Ten of Pentacles. It's having everything that you're wanting, maybe even in, in a non-traditional way. Three of Wands is you can see it, feel it coming. You can see it or feel it coming. Oh, nice. Okay, so what's at the heart of you healing your base chakra? You need to let more people in and, and be allowed to help and assist you. Even though, because what I'm thinking is that the old way is you doing things all by yourself. And I don't think that's really, that's not going to, like, make you go ahead as quick as you possibly can. Even though, yes, you've done a lot, Leo, to get to the point that you are right now in this foundation. Um, this is the groundwork, the base chakra. That's a good ironic, uh, that I, you know. Anyway, so yeah, laying the groundwork. This is what your what grounds you. And then we have, with this healing, this is what they're saying, that you're actually healing your emotions. It's an emotional time. Um, feelings and emotions are running high right now. There may be some anxiety and things like that. That There's something about the mood that kind of needs to be balanced out. And it does require rest and healing. It requires a time out uh, from essentially the world. Time out from your world. From everybody's world just to be in yours for a little while and figure out what you need to do. All right, so Leos, let's get you some other cards. Let's do the um, entrepreneur deck because I feel like a lot of people can use information for that. So such a big chance to, to um, form something of your own right now. I feel like it is. I feel like it was in quarantine so let's see leo's what advice do you have for leo regarding entrepreneurship business career look at that yeah they're telling you to collaborate don't do this all alone you can um really boost the attention you're getting from to a business if you collaborate or work on this with another person okay let other people help you you can always be of assistance to somebody else too it says business can be lonely so find lucrative ways to collaborate with others to build both of your brands okay good advice and then innovation is your business too generic highlight what you can give your clients that no one else can frame your offers in a completely new way believe saying yes to believing in yourself and in your business and in your business vision move forward knowing that your success is assured build what you're doing right now but this says build your email list and nurture your audience by staying in touch that's a good idea that's a good idea okay so yeah i mean if you have any way that you're actually getting email addresses then you can send don't be annoying don't send like something every week do i can't stand it when i get things like every week do it like once a month and make it something something special you know? I have a lot to talk because I am the next 48 hour all the time person. So, you know, 
one to talk. Okay, so the angel number messages for Leos. 3, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 10, 11, and 1. All right. Three, expression comes naturally to you. You're skilled at communicating thoughts through creative, uh, through conversation and creative pursuits. I am charismatic, and that I relate to the empress. So that's a good number to get. Three, and then one, you're a self-starter. You're very independent. You're in, your determination and endurance is what will get you through the rough times. Eleven, I am intuitive. You are very aware of what's happening around you. You can be a guide and a supporter to others because of this great insight that you have. Probably the, the great insight that you get from channeling, you know, your helpers, like your spirit guides, your angels. Ten, I am ingenious. You have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and it allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and I love how they say this. Then direct others how to carry things out. You're the boss. You're the boss. Okay. Now, some dream totems. And I'm going to wrap your reading up, Leos. If you got something out of this, as usual. Stop worrying about something. Breath. Take a few deep breaths and accept that sometimes things don't make sense. Soon enough, everyone will come to their senses and see the situation for what it's worth. Love. Before you can truly love another, you need to open your heart and allow yourself to receive love first. If you open your heart to love, then it will flow into your soul. Trust. Now, this says, don't trust what you're being told. I'm going to reword their card with trust in yourself, trust in your feelings, that gut feeling. Tune in to your intuition a lot so you get practice doing so. Um, and difference is about not, really not needing to worry about something. Like feeling, I don't know, you were thinking or ruminating a little bit much on something that's not going to be as big of a deal like it's just things can turn around don't be focused on the stuff that was lost all right so that's the information i got leo sending you much light and love you all have a nice day bye